in this lecture we will study when we see polarized light then after that polarized light if we place an analyzer the light has become polarized after that we have placed one analyzer and we see certain light here what is intensity of this light you know from this to this intensity become half now that intensity has certain value whatever it is let us say we start from here and this intensity is i not and this is the analyzer before this light now this is the vibration direction of the light and i put my analyzer here and then i start rotating it now if i see it from this direction if i see it from this direction then this is the vibration direction and at any certain time i have rotated my analyzer by theta degree to it theta degree this is analyzer the window okay then the light is coming through this and i am seeing it there will be certain change in its intensity of light and that intensity what is reaching me that intensity is proportionate to it is related to theta and that intensity is proportionate to cos square theta yes if a constant is to be put here that constant is the maximum intensity this polarized light was having i not cos square theta this relation is known as marlow's law see here is amplitude of this light this amplitude is a not which gives us the intensity the intensity of this light full intensity of the polarized light we are not discussing unpolarized we are discussing only polarized so it has got intensity i not and we know i not is proportionate to square of the amplitude at any time this is the amplitude of the vibration which is moving in this direction now if there is a window of the crystal this then it will pass through this okay a not will pass through this now if i turn this window by theta degree then this window will be here this direction turned by theta degree now what happens that this amplitude that is this vibration which is moving in this direction it keeps on moving you will see this much portion here to here this much portion will pass through it this from here 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 and we get here this what we do not get is this because there is no place here so we get intensity according to this much amplitude and this is a how much was this a not and this size a not has been turned like this so how much is this length so this length is the same length which is turned this is a not okay now this is amplitude of the light which has passed through the crystal slit and this is size is a not this angle is theta turning angle and by geometry these are two parallel lines if this is theta this is also theta now what is cos theta here cos theta is equal to base upon hypotenuse a upon a not okay make the square of the two sides so this will be a square is equal to a not square cos square theta 
now you know i naught is proportionate to a naught square and what i see here intensity of light i that is proportionate to a square so here i can write it i is equal to a naught square i naught i naught and this is cos square theta so i is equal to i naught cos square theta and simply i naught is a constant the full value therefore i can write it i is proportionate to cos square theta what is theta theta is the angle by which we are turning the analyzer so if we turn it by full 90 degree then cos 90 is equal to 0 and we will not be able to see the light this is malus law now with malus law sometimes it is asked what should be the angle which make the intensity half so we will write i is equal to i naught cos square theta the intensity has to become half that is i naught upon 2 this is equal to i naught cos square theta and this gives us cos theta is equal to 1 upon root 2 so theta is equal to 45 degree so when we turn it by 45 degree the intensity become half of the original intensity by 45 degree that's correct so this is malus law and malus law dictate us tells us about intensity of the light which light intensity of the polarized light after it has passed through an analyzer which is rotated by angle theta there is another law which we have to study that is brister's law and that we will study in the next lecture thank you